Now this tutorial shows you how to create a movie clip with an animation inside. Now, as you know that in Flash, there are three different kinds of symbols. We have the button, we have the graphic, and the movie clip. Well, the movie clip is the most flexible of them all. Now here is a sample object that I'm going to convert into a movie clip. So I'm just going to right click on it, and then I'm, I'm going to convert it to symbol. So let's say there's going to be flower. Okay, and it's, I'm choosing here movie clip as a type. Click OK and try to see what a movie clip can do. Now if I'm going to hover okay, this or overlap this flower, this movie clip, on another object, you can see that when you select it and you try to check in the properties, you have their display. Okay, you can expand display and you can see there an option blending. So here, you can apply blending modes similar to Adobe Photoshop. So let's say I'm going to say multiply. You can see that the intersection would change colors. You know? So let's say overlay. Right. Or um, subtract. Okay. Or basically, okay, you can apply a blending mode if you're using a movie clip. Now what else can a movie clip do? So now here, you can also try to choose here an option, filters. Now if you use filters, okay, you have here a button, add filters, and you can add drop shadows, okay, blur options, and so on and so forth. And you can just play. So not all of the symbols are capable of doing this, but movie clip is one of them. Well, if you apply, for example, a shadow, you could even change colors of your shadow. You, ch you can change the angle of your shadow. Okay, You could even change the distance of your shadow, and so on and so forth. And that's one of the capabilities of a movie clip. Now, what else can it do? You can also right-click on a movie clip. And you can see that the actions option here is enabled, so thereby giving us a hint that you could add an action script on a movie clip. Another very useful feature with a movie clip is its capability to create an animation inside wherein it has its own independent timeline. Now, I'm going to create a sample movie clip with an animation inside, but first I'm going to show you how to draw that simple flower there and then use that one as a movie clip with an animation inside so I'm just gonna choose here this color here polystar tool and okay we have here options tool settings options I'm just gonna create a star and draw something okay, click and drag on the stage and basically you can adjust the um, this star here I wanna make it curved so that we could create a flower. All right. So here, I'm using the the Bezier tool to do that. Okay. So to adjust the um, the nodes to curves. All right. So click and drag. Okay. And basically here we have the flower. Okay. Now we already have the object. Let's say what we want to do is make this flower rotate clockwise. Now to do that animation, rotating of the flower clockwise and creating multiple copies of it, um, what we're going to do is convert this flower to a symbol. So right click on it, then you have here convert to symbol, and then you have here movie clip. So I'm going to name it flower underscore red. Now when you look at your library, okay, if you can't see your library, just go to window, library, and make sure that it's checked or it's ticked. Or you can press um, Control L and make be able to see the library, and you can see that here we have one movie clip. Now, this movie clip, we can go inside this one by double clicking on it. Okay, just double click on it, and you can see that we are inside the movie clip flower red. By the way, if you click Scene One, when you click on this object and you look at the property bar, you can see that it's a movie clip. Now, when you double click this object, you can see you're inside a flower red, and when you select it, it's no longer a movie clip, but it's a drawing object. So, in here, we're going to create an animation in this 
um, movie clip, movie uh, flower red. Now to do that, we have to convert this again to another symbol. So don't forget, especially if you create um, a motion tween, okay, like clockwise rotation. There's a motion tween thing. You always have to uh, follow the step: object, symbol, keyframe, or motion. K O S K M or also be to kiss me. So here, um, just select the object again, and then convert this again to a symbol. So right click, convert it to symbol again, and let's just name it flower underscore red underscore inside, just to clearly show you that this is inside the movie clip flower red. So click OK. Now we're doing this so that. Um, yeah, we're creating a new animation inside the movie clip flower, no? So I'm just going to select the first uh, the sort of initial frame. Now I'm going to insert another keyframe, let's say in the 50th frame. And then press F6 to insert a keyframe. Let's say I want it to rotate. So after you added the keyframe and set the duration of your animation, just right click, create a classic tween. Now once you have the classic tween, you can select the first frame. Now, selecting the first frame allows you to see these properties here, twinning. So I created a motion twin first so that the twin property here would be shown. And then in that way, you could set the rotation of the flower. So for rotate, just select there, let's say clockwise. And you could now set how many times you want that flower to be rotated. Let's say three times. All right. And when you... Okay, move your playhead across okay the timeline you can see that the flower is already moving okay and you can now go back to scene one now you in scene one you could only see one frame but when you control enter you could see that oops the flower is moving but if it's too fast okay let's try to make it a little bit slow slower you can double click on it you can extend the duration of your keyframe let's say i'm gonna make it 170 for example and go back to the scene one just click scene one the main timeline control enter and you can see that the flower is already rotating even if it's just only one frame here now once you've done that okay once you have created a movie clip with an animation inside and you check your library you can see actually here that we have two movie clips okay one which is the main one flower red and we double click this flower red we created another symbol, flower red inside, and then we, this is the one that we animated. Now, if you look at the two movie clips, only one of them has the control buttons. So this is a hint that this is the main movie clip which has an animation inside. So this is your hint that this is the movie clip that you could reuse. Okay, the parent movie clip that you could reuse which has an animation inside. So you can just drag it to your stage. And now here you're creating another copy of your movie clip. So you could resize this. So when you say copy of that movie clip or copy of the object, actually you call it also an instance. Okay, an instance, meaning a copy of the object. Let's say flower here from your library. So from that one, you can duplicate it. You can press Alt, click and drag to, to duplicate it from the stage. Or you can drag it from your stage. Okay from your library to your stage okay so you can create multiple copies of it and when you control enter you could see that all of them are going to move at the same time the same property because of course they are all copies from one original symbol which is the flower red so this is how you can create a movie clip with an animation inside so basically you need to create one main object one main movie clip and inside the main movie clip, of course, you have to double click the main movie clip. And inside that ob uh, movie clip, you convert that object again to a symbol so that um, you could animate it and you could control it. And once you've done that, once you've done your animation inside the movie clip, you can go back to the main scene and then you can see that you have already a movie clip with an animation inside.